Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning at verse 18 and ending at verse 31. This is the Amplified Version, the wisdom of God. For the message of the cross is foolishness, absurd, and illogical to those who are perishing and spiritually dead, because they reject it. But to us who are being saved by God's grace, it is the manifestation of the power of God, for it is written and forever remains written. I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the philosophy of the philosophers, and the cleverness of the clever, who do not know me. I will nullify. Where is the wise man, philosopher? Where is the scribe, scholar? Where is the debater? logician, orator of this age. Has God not exposed the foolishness of this world's wisdom? For since the world through all its earthly wisdom failed to recognize God, God in his wisdom was well pleased through the foolishness of the message preached regarding salvation to save those who believe in Christ and welcome him as savior. For Jews demand signs attesting miracles and Greeks pursue worldly wisdom and philosophy. But we preach Christ crucified, a message which is to Jews a stumbling block that provokes their opposition, and to Gentiles foolishness, just utter nonsense. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Gentiles, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. This is because the foolishness of God is not foolishness at all and is wiser than men, far beyond human comprehension. And the weakness of God is stronger than men, far beyond the limits of human effort. Just look at your own calling, believers. Not many of you were considered wise according to human standards, not many powerful or influential, not many of high and noble birth, but God has selected for his purpose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, revealing their ignorance. And God has selected for his purpose the weak things of the world to shame the things which are strong, revealing their frailty. God has selected for his purpose the insignificant base things of the world and the things that are despised and treated with contempt, even the things that are nothing, so that he might re Reduce to nothing the things that are, so that no one may be able to boast in the presence of God. But it is from him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, revealing his plan of salvation and righteousness, making us acceptable to God, and sanctification, making us holy and setting us apart for God, and redemption providing our ransom from the penalty for sin. So then, as it is written in scripture, he who boasts and glories, let him boast and glory in the Lord. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.